Welcome, I am Orfan, and today I'll be showcasing my Shockbuster uh, Polystuster deck. This deck aims to have Shockbuster up by turn 2 by utilizing the Reflector and Claire combination to get 3 gems on turn 1, and then a 4th gem on turn 4, and to move them all together onto um, Claire, in this case, uh, through the effect of Francisco. Um, and that's our main goal of the early game to set that up and then we in the mid game we want to transition into using uh, polystos to crystal reflector combos where we can um, copy any effect from our hand um, and then reflector can then copy those effects as well or copy polystector uh, polystosters effect to find a different card from hand um, where reflector can reflect any effect on the field um, this deck is obsolete because Polystuster can only uh, copy Lucio uh, blends uh, from now on. Um, but when this deck was made, I could uh, copy uh, Nocturna gems as well. So, uh, well, every type of gem. Um, so what we want to do is in the mid game, we will begin to have Horizon Gaze in the back line, having Bond Breaker to demolish the opponent's field or just straight up copy Verve Conflictor to deal tons and tons of damage if the opponent has enough uh, blends in the discard pile and just win out that way. And we can do that from round two. We should be hitting, we should be winning game uh, round one, round, around turn six with Sharpbuster if we don't consider defenses. We do have Angel included to move around a bit to get around defenses, get around, yeah, not letting opponents draw too many cards on Sharkbuster, and so on. Um, yeah. And of course, Bondbreaker helps getting um, blends in the opponent's discard pile to attack with Earth Country, get around defenses, and so on. Um, we have a lot of Cryo and Lucio gems to make sure that we get those in the starting hand so we can get Reflector up, and the same with Pyro and Capra gems as we need those to yeah, get into a shot poster. We'll have a lot of draw options, uh, two amasses and three collect to make sure we get the cards that we need when we need them because we don't have anything consistency to get a uh, polystost in the mid game or all the other cards. We do have blow hell, but that's only to get polystost or another crystal reflector. So we are quite sparse in that. Um, we do have round two to do it all in because if we win round one, we don't really care about round two as long as we can set up to win round three. So we can take it a bit slow in there. Um, or if we get all the cards, well, obviously we want to hit round three. We have uh, Bishop and Gem Searches to find gems. Uh, and of course, Bishop is also to find Crystal Reflector, Glow Hill to find Polystuster in the end. And that's more or less everything that is to say about the deck. We're running Francisco and Hickory. Um, and then Reggie in the mid game or late game, uh, running Selma to make sure to find Sharkbuster and Yumi in the late game to find the last card we needed if we hadn't gotten it at that point. Uh, and Claire's already explained. So I want to drop into the game and uh, showcase what we are doing. Um, so we want to have Claire in the front, we want to have Francisco in the back, uh, Hickory on the side. And Selma on the other side. Doesn't really matter how they are on the front line. Uh, you can guess where your opponent wants to go to make sure uh, to make it more likely that you don't run into defenses. And typically, um, this starting hand would be quite fine, but we do need that crystal, uh, that cryo jump. So we are going to shop that in. If we just had that cryo. Everything would have been fine. Uh, we don't get it here either. And typically you would only have one mulligan, but because I want to showcase what we are doing, I'm just going to keep re-rolling until we get it. Uh, all right, here we have it. All the gems that we need in one hand and, and a bishop on top. Um, so here I can finally showcase what we're doing. So we want to get a cryo jump on Claire from hand to activate her effect to put a Lucio gem down. Onto Francisco. Francisco can then move uh, the cryogem onto himself, and then second move the cryogem over to Hickory, and the third move uh, the Lucio gem. Um, and that way we can now get 
uh, Higri's effects to find a reflector. And reflector can copy any uh, unblended hero's effect. And in this case, we're going to uh, copy Claire's effect to get the third gem down. And in this case, we want to get a Capra gem down. Uh, we're just going to attach it to Francisco. Uh, oh yeah, and actually, uh, and then we're going to find uh, a shop after with Selma. And actually, uh, that's it's not quite true that we have all the gems we need because we need a pirate gem. And then on the second turn, we do drop into gem search to get our pirate gem, uh, which is absolutely perfect. But because we had bishop in hand, um, if we had a pirate gem uh, instead of capra gem, we would have been able to get the capra gem through using bishop. Um, so that's why we're running bishop. Uh, all right. So now. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to copy uh, Francisco's effect from Reflector to move a cryo gem from it up onto Claire. Um, Reflector then loses the necessary gems and uh, is deblended. Francisco then copy, uh, well, takes the Lucia gem from Higri and moves all the gems back up to Claire. So reverse turn one. And then we have the pirate gem from hand. And then we have Sharp Buster. And now we can begin attacking. So we'll just set my life as damage. And we have the first five damage dealt on turn two. And before using Sharp Buster, I do want to use Bishop. Should have done it all the way around, but you 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 know. Um, I want to find a Glower Hill, but because through Glower Hill, I can find um, both Polish Duster if I need one more or Crystal Reflector. Um, and I want to find a pirate gem because I have more Lucia gems than I have pirate gems. Um, and that's really what we want to look for to find our last bishops. Um, though you could argue that with the Lucia gem, I could get into the angel directly and begin moving around, dealing two more damage, though we don't need that damage. Round f uh, turn three. Um, I'm just going to go down, put the pirate gem on Hickory. And attack for five more, not considering defenses. If you realize those defenses, you will obviously have found the Lucia gem last turn. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, turn four. You don't want to draw into the bishops. Do five more damage. Uh, let's just drop Aero gem onto Hickory Francisco, and then we can move the gems around as we want them. All right. Round turn five. And we don't want to put down another Capra gem, so we're just going to use the Collect to look at our top four cards and see if we can find a Lucio gem, which we can't, but we can find an Amass, so we're going to do that. It uh, doesn't matter how they are lined up, honestly. All right, so what we can do here, because we saw a Polystoster, uh, we don't want the Capra gem, we don't want the Bishop, um, we can put all those three at the bottom of our deck to draw three six cards. We could put glow hell as well, but then we would have to search it out later. Um, so I don't want to do that. All right, and there we have the Lucio gem. Um, I'm gonna attach that to Hickory, and now I can find my bishop. Or I could have moved Aero gem up there to get around defenses if that was necessary. Uh, and with the bishop, I will find a crystal reflector. Um, and we do need, we, we have all the cryogens we need because we need one on each reflector. Um, we need one more Lucio gem, I suppose. We have all the pirate gems here. We need one more Lucio. There we go. Yeah, and I already attacked. So turn six. And if we hadn't gone through defenses, we would win now. Um, so I'm just going to want to find my last bishop before subbing out uh, Hickory. Because now we want to put up three gems on him uh, to get a reflector out, begin attacking. All right. So, right, so Hickory just needs a cryo gem and he's good to go. Um, Selma needs nothing else. We are good to go officially. 
officially good to go. Uh, so I just want to find another uh, pirate gem just for to have it. Oh, sorry. And another crystal reflector. And the bishop is gone. We do. We put down a cryo gem onto Hickory. So we have reflector ready. Um, next turn we can even move down the capital gem from Claire onto Hickory um, to have lower held out to get uh, to get another crystal reflector or another polystuster. It's it's an option. It's an option. Let's do twenty five, and we win round one on turn six. Um, and then we. Move into turn seven or round two. We don't really care what we draw now. We, the only thing we're looking for is um, Verve Conflictor and um, Horizon Gazer because with Horizon Gazer we can um, um, we can begin using Bondbreaker. We don't have it right now. Uh, we would like to draw into Angel to uh, to be able to copy that effect from hand to move around as we want to. So that's like we kind of want to just sit down here in round two and just consider what we're gonna do. We, if the opponent is still open, you of course keep attacking with Chop Buster. But I want to consider that at this point they have set up enough defenses. They had that extra turn, so we're just gonna deep blend Chop Buster because. We assume we don't need it anymore. Um, so what we want to do is move down the capital gem uh, through Hickory's, uh, Francisco's effect onto Yumi. So that's two movements, then the arrow gem um, up to Claire, because now we can have Polystuster onto Claire. Um, and just to thin out our deck, I want to put down Glow Herald um, to search my deck for another Crystal Reflector. Um, I want to keep. I don't really need to put down Polystuster yet, so I'm just going to keep it. I could put it down to copy Bondbreaker to immediately just use some gems, but nah. Uh, we're going to be fine. Going to be fine. Uh, all right. So I haven't attached this turn, so I'm going to attach a Pirate to Selma. Turn eight. Draw. Uh, I don't really need them just yet, so I want to wait with the collect to go deeper. Um, I'll find another uh, polystuster through uh, Glow Hell's effect. We're just sitting, we're just waiting. Pyro, uh, Cryo. All right, turn nine. We got our birth conflict. That's really great because now uh, we are actually set good to go. Around uh, turn nine, we just need a Lucio. We just search for one more uh, polystuster just to have them in case we are forced to get rid of them. Glow Hill can go. Polystuster in front, we should have the gems for it. And then we have two crystal reflectors. And depending on how many gems your opponent, blends your opponent have in the deck, you can begin birth conflicting. Uh, well, you can't do it regardless, it'll be just be for more damage. So, first thing you do is copy poly use polystuster to copy it. Uh, and then you use crystal reflectors to copy the new effect of polystuster. Um, so just verb conflict there. I think that makes more sense. And you do tons of damage. So let's say the opponent has five blends in the discard pile at this point. You already do 15 damage because of five damage on each of them. Go down to 10. Um, and even if they don't, you can collect. Um, yeah, and get Horizon Gazer. <laughs> Why not? Uh, put two gems on top. And then in a few couple turns, you would begin to, you would get to draw into those gems. Oh yeah, Horizon Gazer does have to get to the back line. But, um, oh yeah, so one, yeah. <laughs> what we should have done instead of copying another Polystuster, we should have gotten Angel with Glow Herald. So that's another thing to do. We could just have literally have found 
the angel that way. So that's that's on me. That's on me. Um, yeah, and you just keep on doing that. That's the game plan. Just win round one, wait, slow down, transition into birth conflicting, and you win the game. Which you cannot do anymore, obviously. That's the thing. You you need to find a new way to do it, or find other ways to do similar things with high attack on you're doing round as you go on. Regardless, it was a very fun strategy, um, but a bit inconsistent to some extent. So, not quite sure what to take out. But um, here is the deck list if you want to look at it and admire it to some extent and uh, come with new ideas of what to use instead of Bond Breaker Verve Conflictor. Um, I would be happy to hear so. Thank you for watching and have a good day.